What's up guys, what's going on? Camp out coming at you with a review. Um, I'm gonna try and make this quick because I'm gonna do two and two. I've decided right now I'm doing two shoes and two shoes. So this is the Mundial Team Kit TR. Uh, size 10 and a half. Um, I'm trying to figure out what color this is. Um, e -Q -T -Y, e -Q -T E-Q-T-Y, E-Q-T yellow, I don't know. C black, uh, F-T-W white, whatever, let's open this up. Uh, if you guys are unfamiliar today, Kith Drop, uh, Kith Adidas collaboration, crazy, crazy. I, I don't think I bought this many clothes from Kith in a long time. Uh, black box, rose gold stamping on there. There's one shoe in here because I was trying them on. <laughs> this might be upside down, it is. Slide box completely, as you guys can see. I'm gonna drop it down a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Uh, dust bag inside for one. No branding on it except for the Adidas little hang tag on the side here. Uh, dust bag, not a backpack. Only one string up top. Dust bag. Anyway, let's get that out of the way. You got some tissue paper in here, Adidas and Kith branding on it. Sorry for the noise. Bring it a little closer so you guys can see it. Kith and it's really shiny, so that's not a good look, but you can see Kith, you can see Adidas, you can see Brand. Get that out of here. Uh, I, like I said, there's one shoe in here, a little hard to get out, and the smell on this shoe was crazy. Not in a good way. Uh, I'm gonna close this, let's do a little cut scene, and I'll put these on the table. All right, back at it. Okay, so this was a last minute pickup. As you can see, it's not a boost midsole. This is the, um, I, I've been trying to say it all day long. I was literally at the store all day talking about the turf shoe, which is what this is, <laughs> um, and the ultra boost and the cleats, and I always forget to call them the turf shoe. But clean, the, the, this is like a last minute pickup too. Like they happen to have them in the store uh, midway through the release. Not a lot of people came to pick up because they did raffle the pairs and um, I don't think anybody really went for these, but super fire in person, slept on. The entire collaboration, um, a lot better uh, footwear than I thought it'd be. Uh, I mean, aside from the obvious shoe, which is what I like, the Copa, uh, that's the next shoe I'll be doing in this review. Um, all the shoes were fire and on foot even better. So uh, this is whatever. I'm not really mad about it. It's a little stiff to the foot touch. Um, you can play with it though. Uh, very easily uh, pressed in. So it's a little bit soft, a little bit stiffer than Boost though. So everybody's like, oh, Boost is so comfortable. So like you put something else on, it's going to be a little bit stiffer, obviously. But let's get into some of the other aspects of the shoe. So you got like this ripple effect going across the toe box very soft leather very buttery um even when you put it on it doesn't crease like crazy you'll see when i do the on foot nothing really too i mean crazy about the colorway on the shoe it's yellow and black uh pretty simplistic so we'll go with some branding stuff on the tongue you have kith cobra team uh cobra team over here by the um stitched in logos for adidas and like this cobra embossing on the three stripes which is kind of cool bring a little closer see if you guys can see it you can probably see it in the reflection uh maybe my light's a little low i don't know i don't think so though oh yeah it is a little low um yeah you can see a little bit in the reflection probably better i'll get some pictures uh from like the website or something that highlights that a little bit more uh, heel area or heel cup or heel portion or whatever you want to go with it just has adidas branding on there medial side three stripes no branding on the inside i showed you the tongue footbed has a uh, it's a red footbed kind of like a uh, felt or velvet almost like this velour suit i have on i'm literally wearing the velour track tra like i don't even know what this is like whatever velour suit from the collection like for no reason it's amazing anyway um if you guys want to see the apparel review, I will. I, I guess I'll put one up. But anyway, it's red like velvet, and it has a uh, Kith Cobras on the bottom there, and a Cobra logo debossed and embossed, so it's pretty clean. Let me see if the other shoe has anything different. Yeah, has the Adidas on the tongue, and that's really the only branding differentials on there. You got some extra laces. You got yellow flats in there with a hard plastic aglet, and then you got a rope lace in like the bumblebee colorway, which is black flat with the yellow going through the whole thing, and uh, that same hard plastic aglet. You got a little branding hang tag here, Adidas Cobra. I mean, definitely fire, definitely fire. I, I was uh, I was surprised how much I liked them once. I, I, once you put them in your hand, you're like, oh man, he's kind of clean. Outsole is gum. Um, it's a turf shoe, so that's why you have all these little traction joints going on inside here. I mean, I'll wear them in the street. I really don't give a shit, but definitely dope, clean. Uh, slept on. I think this one and the other one that wasn't a boost, very, very slept on. I think it was the A17, whatever. Well, it'll be in the other review, so you guys will be able to see it. I'm gonna hop into the uh, the Copa right now, so I'll do the two of those in this review since they're very, very similar. And uh, yeah, cutscene. 
All right, back at it. Uh, other part of the review. I'm pretty sure there's a timestamp that led you here, or you just watched the whole thing. Same thing, it's up in a gray box. You got Kith branding and rose gold. Uh, a little bit of stampage on the box here, if I get some focus. Copa 17.1 Kith Ultra Boost. Uh, CRY white, CRY white, uh, CLE gray, black, whatever, size 10 and a half. Uh, I went with the 10 and a half, it fits fine. Um, it fits well. I could have did a half a size up or stayed with a ten and a half. I stayed with a ten and a half. Uh, I wear Super Invisibles 99.9% of the time, even in the winter time, so I don't care. But um, the the fit is great. Plus the leather is really soft, and I have a feeling they're going to break in just a smidge. So if that happens, I don't want to have all that extra room. But if you like a little extra room, the half a size up is not going to be a problem for you. Same deal. I got uh, one shoe out of here because I was wearing it. <laughs> I wanted to know what they felt like before I did the review. Uh, nothing extra in here. Nothing extra in here. So, cutscene real quick. Bangerino. So, hmm. this is the shoe I was going for the entire time. Uh, it's gray, it's white, it has ultra boost, super comfortable. That leather is very, very, very buttery. Um, very, very soft. It crinkles to the press, so you gotta be careful. But like I said, I went with the 10 and a half, so um, I get a little extra press inside the shoe and it stops it from giving me all that extra crinkle. Not mad about it though, even if it does. Detailing, like I said, you got gray leather across the entire thing uh, and embossed into the leather is like a cobra effect, uh, almost like the scaling of a snake, as you can see. I'll do a little bit of shading or turning it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Three stripes are not filled in, just stitched around the entire three stripe uh, logo. It says Copa on one side, Adidas on the tongue. The only differential from the uh, Mundial to this one is you can see it inside there, there is a full like neoprene sock not all the way down the entire thing, but just in this mid portion, right? I'm trying to open it up so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see it starts, it's like a fat band. When you put it on, you can definitely feel that. It keeps your foot intact. Um, definitely made to maneuver in this shoe. <laughs> I can see myself, I don't know, doing crazy shit. I, I, mean, I won't, but I, like, if I'm gonna do some crazy shit, I'm throwing these things on. Uh, inside it says strike first, strike fast. Uh, Team Cobra, I guess. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's Cobra on the back of the tongue as well, which is not on the Mundial, but whatever. Uh, you see some rose gold hits or copper hits on this. It looks more like, I guess, rose gold on the heel cup here. Um, this little plastic hit on the midsole is definitely rose gold. So I'm assuming the other colors are meant to be rose gold as well. Also says just us down on the inside here. I don't know if I could show that to you. Just us right underneath my middle finger inside here. And then the other side, it's probably a little bit easier to see. Strike first, strike fast. I'm sure the tongues are different. Yep, one says Kith, one says Adidas. This, oh, okay. One says Copa, the other side says Cobra. On the lateral side, lateral side says Copa, lateral side says Cobra. Uh, back portion or heel cup area, uh, both say Adidas. And let me see what's on the back of this tongue. There's a Cobra on the back of this tongue as well. I gotta take this stuff out of here so we can do the review or we can do the on foot. But uh, you got some extra laces in here as well. Uh, let me go over the sock liner or this neoprene action for the tongue. So the, the tongue has this neoprene elastic to the entire thing and then welded technology over it. So the stripe going down the whole center is like welded technology. Pretty clean, Kith logo in there as well. I mean, simplistic. Simplistic and to the point, but very, very well executed. Uh, extra laces are, I don't know, I guess it's like a white with a gray going through it on the entire thing with a rose gold agalette and then a gray flat is already in them with a rose gold, a very mild rose gold agalette. Uh, clean, super fire. I'll do an on foot for these bad boys. You got your boost midsole, uh, outsole is, um, I guess like a lighter, yeah, it's definitely like a lighter gray. Uh, you got another hit of the rose gold uh, torsion system and the continental is uh, the gray color like we just spoke about. And that's pretty much it for this review. I will, like I said, do the on foot. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, hit me in the comment section, obviously. Uh, if you guys like the review, shoot me a thumbs up. Um, I think I'm done here. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and uh, peace.